Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to switch career from data science to quantitative finance. Some people have asked me this question, so I thought of uh, clarifying this in a video. Well, <clears throat> first of all, you should ask yourself why you want to do this. You should not do that for wrong reasons. Some people have this misconception that, you know, you move to quantitative finance, you make, you will make a lot of money. Uh, you know, you will make crores and millions uh, and then you can retire at the age of 40. I think that's a very bad reason to go for any career and certainly uh, a career in finance. Of course, you will make good money in finance. That does not mean that you will be able to retire early and you don't have to work for, uh, for many, many years. That's not certainly not true. I haven't seen many quants retiring at the age of 40. In fact, most of my colleagues, ex-colleagues, many of them who are above 40 years old, they're still working, working very hard and very still very passionate about their work. And of course, uh, they earn good money and they enjoy a good or decent life. But there are also other career options which are equally good. And if you have interest, I think that should be the, you know, the main reason why you should uh, switch career to quantitative finance. If you don't have interest in finance, there is no point. Okay, so how do you do that? If you already have qualifications in data science, computer science, any quantitative field, you're working in data analytics, data science, or even data engineering, and you want to make a move to quantitative finance, what are the things that you should keep in mind and how you can do that? I will clarify in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, so first thing is that you need to ask yourself whether you have interest in finance or not, because Quantitative finance is all about finance. Uh, finance is a very broad field. It's not just banking. It's not just investment or trading or not insurance, not valuation, not private equity. There's just countless areas in the field of finance. But I'm sure you know what the difference between finance and, and let's say another sector is like manufacturing or e-commerce, right? So <clears throat> understanding of whether you have interest in some finance is very very important right and I, I am sure that by now uh, you know whether you have interest or not if you don't have interest I think it is not uh, advisable to you know go into a career in quantitative finance but if you have interest then you have every reason to think think about it as a career option okay and data science and uh, quantitative finance both are quite uh, quantitative mathematical in nature so there's a lot of overlap uh, a lot of the algorithms that you learn uh, in data science are also useful in quantitative finance but you also need to learn a lot of other algorithms too, very domain specific algorithms models which are often not uh, heard about in in the data science uh, ml communities but these models have been there in pure mathematics for a very very long time some of these algorithms even date back to 60s and 70s even even prior to that okay and understanding of some theoretical level of mathematics or statistics is very important in uh, quantitative finance unlike in data science although i strongly believe that even in data science you need to understand a lot of things at a theoretical level right you know just calling libraries to perform some tasks is not enough uh, in data science also it, it's a shame that a lot of people are doing that without having proper understanding of the models. But in quantity finance, you definitely need to understand because money is involved and that the stakes are very high in quantitative finance because based on the models, investment decisions, lending decisions, trading decisions are taken. And there's a hell lot of money involved, right? The financial system could be going for a toss if something go wrong, right? So that's super important that you understand what's what's the underlying uh, model and the at a theoretical level you test your models properly before you you know use them so the point here is that you need to study uh, more about the theoretical aspects of models right if you move your career from data science to uh, quantitative finance okay um, there is slightly more entry barrier in quantitative finance which is a good thing and also a bad thing it's a good thing because not everyone can enter uh, what is happening now in data science is that people 
all kinds of people are entering the field. You know, I know people having PhD in computer science from great universities, they are in data science. I also know people who have no understanding of models. Uh, they're not at all good in mathematics. They have done some courses, have learned some Python or some visualization tools, and they're also in data science. So the entry barrier is quite less in uh, or quite low in, in data science. Whereas in quantitative finance, uh, the entry barrier is, is not that low actually. Um, in fact, it's, it's certainly high in some of the quant trading uh, related jobs, uh, but um, also in other forms of jobs, such as in, in insurance or in banking, there is an entry barrier. Not everybody can enter. Uh, and you need to have good understanding of things. Only then you can you can enter the field. And that's a good thing also, because um, then right you, you have also demand in the job market because not everybody can learn the theoretical models, have good understanding of finance, and you know that's not easy. It's a very multidisciplinary uh, area compared to data science because in quantitative finance, understanding of finance is very important which is less important probably in data science where domain knowledge is certainly important, but not as important as in finance. You need to have understanding of a lot of asset classes, whether it's, uh, you know, derivative asset classes, whether it is, uh, you know, credit uh, or uh, forex, uh, interest rates, uh, bonds and, and swaps and, you know, options, you name it. Uh, there are many, many uh, things to learn in finance. Even as a quant professional, you need to learn uh, quite a number of things, right? And then you have to also learn mathematics. You need to have some understanding of programming, computational programming, and um, you also will be writing things, right? Uh, a lot of the quant models uh, need to be written down in a very proper way. The quality of documentation in quantitative finance is good. In fact, it's much better than IT documentations. In my experience, I can tell you. Um, so you need to have good communication skills, good writing skills. So to have all these kinds of skills, it's not easy for everyone, right? And if I put in efforts to learn these skills, then you can have good uh, opportunity in the job market. Okay, so yeah, so you need to prepare all these things if you want to make a move. I'm sure as a data scientist, you have learned a lot of these things already. So you just have to you just have to learn a few extra things and then you are ready for a career in quantity finance. So how to make a move? First of all, do a certification, do some courses, read some books. Uh, certifications are better compared to uh, reading books because books are not very exhaustive and you know you probably won't understand much as a beginner things uh, things are at a very theoretical level so you might struggle a bit with books but if you ha can find a mentor and do a course with him that's the best but you can also go for a master's degree two year master's degree or one year master's degree uh, that's also quite quite good but not everybody can afford to you know leave your job and go for a full time master's degree and spend money there but you have if you have that option then go for it i advise you for that and uh, do intensive if are a fresher i would highly uh, re recommend you to do intensive do a couple of intensive you learn a lot that really helps a lot um, if you're working in a banking financial area already as a data scientist as a data engineer then ask for an internal move that is perhaps the easiest right after doing the course after learning this uh, extra topics just ask for uh, an internal move talk to the hr person within the company and just tell her or tell him that you know you are ready for a move you have learned these things there are always a lot of demand of quant professionals so you will be prepped for because you are already working with that company so making an internal move is always preferred by many companies so they will give you a chance or if you work in a completely different domain, I think then you need to find opportunity in the banking financial service industry or insurance industry. That's not very difficult, especially if you already have a background in data science. And I know many people who have made a move from uh, e-commerce or uh, a completely different area. They were working in, uh, in data science and they have moved to quantitative finance. They are working as modelers in risk management or uh, 
uh, in compliance management uh, as 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 a quant okay get some real world experience i think getting the first experience is a bit tough that's always the case for uh, all kinds of careers uh, and quant finance is not an exception to that but once you get some experience i think then things get easier actually then getting your next job getting a good pay raise and uh, that is uh, then easier right then you will have a good bargaining power once you get you know two years of experience uh, and on, until then yeah you will have to go through some struggle right if you have further questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section you can also write to me um, I myself is offering uh, a course and also mentorship in quantity finance. If you are interested in that, please let me know. You can find my contact details in the comment section. If there is any way I can help you, uh, I'll be happy to do that. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.